Hello guys, it's Ilpex back on how to build a small Corvair tutorial and today's part 2 and today's part will be kinda long because I will actually do the full interior on this small uh, Corvair and this Corvair really doesn't have a big interior, just the bridge, the crew lounge, toilets and the engine room but I will do on a different section, so this is the first section and for the first section I will just do the, like, the exterior detailing that we did into last time then after that I will re record the engine room, then another section will be recording the upper decks. So that uh, I'm right, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for stuttering. So I'm just gonna make the, like, the exterior detailing because if you see, this side really doesn't look as good, it looks really plain and stuff. So the first thing you can add is a really cool detail known as vents because uh, these car fires actually have like vents in this side like here they're like air vents so the air could like flow I really don't know but there are just like vents like here um, so then we, if you have heads you can do slash heads with hydro hydrant then take this for a fire hydrant so you can have one both here and you know what one not right mm. beside here so yeah because again a car ferry needs a fire hydrant because the cars uh, carries like vents and oil and stuff so it's kind of flammable <laughs> for me at least so I would suggest having some like fire hydrants around I'm just gonna pull up some pictures on my phone because I actually was on one of these ferries and I took quite a lot of pictures around for detailing that we can do. So I'm just gonna try to find out after them pictures. Uh, where are they? They are right here, perfect. So, um, uh, what can we add? What can we add from this picture? We need to add like these detailing up here. So I will add like a small spin image as this up here. I don't know what, I think it's like a small radar that spins around, it's on a lot of ferries and if you see on my yard I actually puts more ferries like pre-built that I've already built around my yard so yeah. So I'm just gonna check what I did on these, if you see almost all of them has something like that. Uh, I will have some iron bars, then a trap door, why not, for detailing causes. Just like this, so like a small, another radar dish thing. If you see, there's a lot of empty area here. You can't really do anything with here, but I'm just gonna put like iron bars around here, so it would look like you can actually like access here. But it's on crew only for like the washing personnel, the personnel who washes the ship around, I guess. So an iron bar mm, around. So yeah, just like this. So we can just do like this, going all the way around. So it looks like like sometimes the bridge window could get cleaned. Crap. Oh no, there we go, just like this. And then we're going to put like these iron trap doors to make it like more detail, I guess, for like a small taste. Because just having, like if it's on that ship, the MFAs, uh, with those chapters, it looks like it's more detailed than just plain without chapters. So yeah. So tr having chapters above the iron is like um, a must for me at least. But for you, you you don't really need to do that. But yeah, I really like. I'm not forcing you to do. Uh, okay, come on. Okay, it might take a bit of time, but again, detailing. Because this first section is just about detailing the exterior a, a bit more than what is already done. Uh, are we there? Yep, we are here finally. That took forever. So, see, just like this. Then we have like a small, I don't know what to call that, <laughs> something. Um, <laughs> so, I'm just gonna pull up the picture again. So, some pictures on these radar things uh, it looks like there are more of like these things that sticks out I don't know what the name of these are 
I'm just looking at pictures that I took. Um. So yeah, just put these small things. They're like small radar dishes or radar navigation thing. Then this is the walking our mind. I don't need that because I don't know the difference. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else can we do? Uh, it looks like this part actually extends out, but if you see here's the truck deck, so there will be like big trucks and like uh, big trucks and buses, so I can't really do that detail. Uh, what else can we add? I'm just brainstorming everything that I know about details right now. If it still looks pretty plain, uh, how can I make it look not as plain? I know how. You can have trapdoors, just like this. And these could also be like window cleaner, I don't know what. I'm actually going to do this one up so there won't be actually any uh any like iron f iron iron uh, iron things. Iron tr uh I can't talk about it right now. Oh my what's it called? <laughs> Iron bars, oh my god, I just lost my mind for like 10 minutes So just like this and here we actually can also put Something called androids and for me androids doesn't sparkle, but for you it might Um, I used optifine I highly suggest using optifine because for optifine uh, Androids doesn't sparkle and I really like that so It looks like more of a Nicer, I guess, of a light color, more realistic, I guess. So, just like this, and there we have like a bit more, not that much, but again, if we TP time night, if you see there's a light here, um, you know what? I'm just gonna round it all the way up around. Um, okay, P time reset. Then I'm actually going to put all of more lights around because I really don't want it to be like a dark area. Uh, I think I'll do it there. So it wraps around all the whole time. Then it's like this. And there. So if you see some small lighting details. Uh, up here, I will actually do this with iron trapdoors. But if you don't have wallet or commands to do this, I you can't do this. So it's the first position here, second position here. Replace. No, set actually set with one six seven nine, and it just makes these uh, two upwards trapdoors, and it just looks pretty cool. But uh, the wall will kind of mess up, but you can't really do anything with the wall messing up. Just like that. As if see, we got some details here and there, not that much detailing, but some details to make it a bit like cleaner and better in some way or another. So come on, I'm looking for more details. I'm hunting for details right now. Uh, mm. So we actually can also write how tall this is. So from that. The utmost action to the lowest action is 8 meters, so we can go to. We need to clean our inventory a bit. Head. So 8 meters because, yeah, then we need to take around 8, so it will say that it's 8 meters up. So, trucks knows that it's 8. Come on, press the wrong button. Oh no, it's bad. It's gonna be bad. Oh no. Um, then up here we actually can put a sign saying off because this is the back of the ship and here is bow bow I think yes bow so this is the bow and that's the off so the captain will know a bit more uh, I want to have like a small life raft but we really don't have enough space out here um or should i just like cut this whole section up i don't know if i can do that so i 
I really don't want to put the life raft here. So yeah, we can't do anything about that. But one thing we can do is to put like doors here. I don't know where there's doors, but there's like random doors here. Uh, I use nether nether bricks for the doors. What's it there? Nope, wrong place. Crap. Hmm. That will take a bit time to repair. Uh, so here it will be net doors. Uh, I actually don't know why there are doors here. It's just our doors. No exclamation why. But yeah. Mm, the same on this side. It's two then. Okay, so door. door so I think these are, these are like for emergency exits and oh my god it's too light okay never mind uh, we will use another dark color you know what black on terracotta because it's nah it's too brown it's black like there's no good black colors in minecraft black shulk no I can black concrete because why not so these are for the exit doors or emerge exits because there's like no other exits around. Just like this. Yeah. So them. Then I'm gonna just put ladders because I think it's that how they are. So yeah. Then I'm actually going to put a line because it actually will signalize that there's like a burn check here. So lime. Uh, where else can I put this? No. My controller is freaked out then, yeah. So more ladders than lime. Just like that. So if you see, we got some emergency exits. They're like a small detail, I guess. I wouldn't say it's a big detail, but it's a small detail. So yeah, now we actually basically finished with the outside detail. Detail. So now we will actually do with the interior. So I will first do the toilets on this deck. That is deck. I don't know what deck two on the car deck. So deck two will also hold the uh, toilets. So yeah. Mm. So, I want to have like one man and one woman section, as always it should be. Uh, if see there's a window, I can't will do that. But one thing is, I will actually block out this with the block of choice, and my block of choice is stripped of wood. Then for the floor, I will use a uh, mm, cut sandstone. I don't know why, I just got that in mind. So you can make multiple stalls, but I will just make one stall per toilet with hoppers, just like this, because it looks pretty cool with hoppers. Then trapdoors for the toilet seat lifting thing. Then cauldron. Then a tripwire hook for detailing. Then we need to have a door. I like to use the birch door because it's the closest to or the light out quart then I will do water closet water closet yes another one right here and uh, in here it will be like crew areas for the crew and the access to the engine room so yeah like this uh, it was this block here and yeah, these ferries aren't really for long trips, they're quite small on trips, but yeah, um, on like long ro road trips, like I know that people need to go to the toilet, so these ferry has like free toilets, I guess. So that's a good point to go in ferry, free toilet. The only free toilet actually outside in the world. Yep, think about that for a second. Okay, come on. Just like that, water closet. So... If you see now we have toilets a bit more detailing. Uh, I don't 
really like this part I think I will actually move all of this with down with one yes I'm just gonna do that quickly Did the reason why I don't know I don't really like this so move down fantastic okay never mind and it I just really don't like how tall this is I'm just gonna check if it works here I bet you not move down uh, mm, this these doesn't work actually uh, no and so yeah and one thing I will also add for some detailing is iron bars why not iron bars it looks like pipes I guess I'm just trying my hardest to find out for some good detailing it's three or four by all so one two three four one two three four so some detailing uh so now we will be building the engine room so yeah we just need to find the entrance i will do this as a crew entrance so i will just make a staircase up to the crew decks or the crew lounge i mean because here's where the crew will like escalate from different decks then we will go to the dark engine room I will just put some night vision. And we can start in the engine room. I've actually got the deck plans for the engine room that is pretty cool. That's really cool actually. So I actually know how these deck the engine room actually will look like. So um I will do the engine room as like I will do a slab for floor like this then another slab here so it will be three blocks high so now we need to take red wool so we actually can begin planning out where the stuff should be like i'm just gonna pull out the uh the deck plans for the engine room so the ecr i want it to be in the middle and if you remember in the first episode we actually made a blue line so this is where the blue line is so here's the middle of the ship then I will actually make the ECR right here. So, yeah, when you entrance, you will actually go inside via the uh, ECR. So when you go directly into the ECR, pretty cool. Uh, we actually can pull. So, yeah, the ECR will be here. Um, you know what? I'll actually put the uh, ballast tanks right there because ballast tanks are in the mid, like in the sides, normally. And just normally then it's two so one two three like that um you know what i'll just take this with one out and back here i will do the f a fuel tank pretty small fuel tank to be honest but you really don't have enough space to put the big fuel tank uh so how many blocks were out we were with two so i would actually do three here so one two three four actually and put another room here i guess and i'm trying to save as much space as i can so i actually can put more things because there are normally a lot of things inside of here that actually should be here so yeah oops um so here will be the fuel tanks i'm just gonna put some signs up so ECR fuel then you know what never mind they won't these aren't going to balance because we need to conserve a lot of space so this will be generate or then this will be a water pump aka water filtration plant uh what can this be mm. Well, half of this can actually be to the uh, to the what it's called the workshop. So workshop. What's here? Uh, mm, there looks like there should like I don't know what to put here. I can just put like a normal walkway. Or oh, actually can do this. So the walls will actually be here. Because I will actually double wall, that means it's a wall here. 
So here would be like a hallway to the main engines. But here, what should be here? Um. So that's easy. Or we we basically have everything right now. I'm pretty sure if I should put water pumps or and generator here, I or I just should put them right here. Um. What should I put here? I'm just gonna put like a. What should I put here? I'm looking at the deck plans. That is kind of confusing. You know what? I'll just put a uh, water filter, water filtration plant. Then front here will be the engines. Uh, try to find as much space as you can because if you see, we really don't have enough space for our big engines at all. So now we'll actually start on the engine room. So I will use andesite as the floor color because I really like it. How andesite looks like. So andesite. Oh, you know what? Never mind. It was andesite. It was uh, andesite slabs because I forgot this. I said that I was going to use slabs first. Then I'm gonna use quartz, block of quartz for the walls, block of quartz, and another terracotta color because I think these those looks pretty cool for the engine room. And the engine room colors are really boring actually. They aren't like really art. I guess so then we can take some uh, What can we take now? Mm, terracotta Light gray why not looks perfect You know what I'm just gonna put all of these to the red blocks to the To uh, a Quartz so it will be kind of easier for me if you know what I'm talking about Just like that. Mm -hmm. So then we are going to put the walls in. The rest of the wall, I mean. So yeah, here's the rest of the wall. Uh, you know what? Never mind. I will actually do a full block for the floor because I just remembered to make. It's quite hard to do slab floor on the our engine room actually. So yeah, light grey terracotta, just like this, normal andesite. So if you see here with the ECR, there's kind of lot for, uh, like doors here, um, I don't, I'm not a big fan of a lot of doors, so I'm just gonna cut out this door. So we actually need to go via the hallway here, to the workshop. Uh, so yeah, um... So for the ECR we're going to have a table, uh, I've seen a lot of tables that's like quartz like this with our heads, that is heads with TV, I'm just gonna type TV because I'm too lazy to actually type, uh, type monitor, have you seen some uh, TVs or monitors to monitor the ship? Then some green terracotta, you know what, never mind. Slabs. Smooth. Smooth. Smooth sand. No, not smooth sand. Smooth stone stairs. With buttons for like these cool things that I don't know the name of. Then we're actually going to the water pump right now. And the water pump has its name for itself. It pumps in the water, the sea water, in to make it more. Or, or this one just pumps in the water, this actually doesn't filter the water, just the pump. Mm. So if there's the water pump room. Uh, I will have like a base with prismarine because I would want it to be like a really light blue-ish color. Yes, light blue-ish. With walls here, prismarine walls. I really don't know how they look like, I'm just guessing. I've um, I have never seen an engine room myself in real life. These are just from the deck plans I found. So, sorry for the epilepsy, guys. I'm just gonna get the, the night vision for now. So, waiting to 10 minutes to get it. So, like that, we can have wall. So, here will be the water filtration plant. Or the water pump, actually. You know what? If, uh, sometimes water pumps and water filtration plants are in the same. Are actually the same stuff so I'm actually going to remove this 
room as the water plant, water preparation plant. Uh, I will just find out later what it will be. For here, I've actually put like slabs here, then slabs here, so it looks like a uh, water type door because water type doors actually are like that. They're like a bit above. Then it's the fuel. No, it's generator. Never mind. <laughs> um. So yeah. And the set blocks. Put it this in with this block. Um. Again, I have never seen a gen like a uh, engineer minimum in my life. A ship engineer to be more exact. So I'm just gonna guess. Uh, I like to have yellow terracotta for my in like water. Not water. God damn it. The mm, the generators, it just looks pretty cool with yellow terracotta. And from here, what could I put here? Is there something I could put here? Nope. Uh, yeah, this is just like some empty space. No, you can't have empty space on a ship. That's forbidden in rule. No, just kidding. Like, just try to not have a lot of empty space in the engine room. It just looks pretty weird to have empty space. I'm just I'm trying to think what I could put here. That looks like a car, actually. <laughs> a small, like a yellow car. Hmm. What room is here? You know what? I will just move this all the way here and have it like a small storage. Yes. A small storage. Not small storage. Yes, a small storage. Never mind. With more of these blocks. So that is for the generator room. If you see, it's quite close, so people can just go here. Um. So yeah, generator room. Um. And this set block again. So now we will build the the what's it called? What is it called actually? Oh my god, the workshop. Uh, for the workshop, they have just like tools. So if they need to repair our engine or something in the engine room, really quick, they just come here and repair, repair it. It's not that easy actually, it's like 10 times harder uh, to repair engine. So, here I will just put like these. Wow, uh, night vision. Eight minutes. One, two, three, four. These like benches or these closets, I guess. What are these called? Where they can like store stuff. Like uh, work equipment and stuff. Then here I'm gonna put some stone bricks stairs like this for where it will work. And back here I will just do slabs for these drawers, not like control board as the ECR as we did there, but for drawers for like screws and bolt screws and everything for there. So if it's a small ECR, not the it's not the ECR though. A small uh, workshop. I'm just gonna put andesite here. So I don't know what to put here. Uh, I'm just gonna look at deck plans again. I've got a lot of deck plans of ferries, but I'm just gonna use a small cruise ship. No, a small car ferry. Hmm. Uh. Um, yeah, I just need to brainstorm here because I don't know what to put here. There's a lot of things in the deck plants, but yeah, um, uh, I'll just put like a small laundry room. Why not? It says on the deck plants there's a laundry room, so I'm just gonna put the laundry room. Why not? It's a small laundry room. I don't know why, why there's a laundry room here, but there is now. So with these, like this, cauldron with a trapdoor, like, trapdoor, like this, like that, a small laundry room, why not? <laughs> so now it's to the main engine, the big boy, the big engines, or actually the small engine for here. You see, we really don't have any space here. We need to conserve a lot of space, so just like 
try to break a lot of blocks and find like don't do that if, if you see I had a block here so, so yeah um, I can also just put two blocks here to conserve my space and stuff so then I'm gonna fill with andesite so now we we have all of this to make our engine so yeah the engine won't be big, that big actually <laughs> in any ways shape or form so yeah now we can begin I will have Two engines because I don't have uh, two engines space for two engines. Need to be quite small, conservative on space. Uh, I'm just gonna try to find where the there is the perfect gas for the shaft because they go directly to the shaft. There's no there's no nothing that will like make it. Unlike cruise ship, if you remember that there was like another machine for the shaft, but there isn't. There's no machines. There's like goes directly to the shaft then I'm gonna put some walls uh, this will be a v6 by the way it's a small v6 uh, really conservative on space um, I don't remember how to make engine that's a big problem now I forgot or well I actually made an engine some days some times ago but yeah okay you know what I'm just gonna fly out the wrong way fly out here to this big ship, this not the ferry's engine because I actually forgot how the engine looks like. Uh, and what for this ferry? This ferry has two big engines. Wow, uh, which ferry actually has small engines? This ferry is it the old tutorial. This is. I am betting it doesn't have an engine. It has. Wow. So, okay, like that. Okay, I found out. Cool. Cool. I'm sorry for that. Oh, sorry for interrupting, I just forgot how to build engines. So yeah, that's cool about having a lot of ferries in your yard, so you can just fly to them whenever you want. Just to see when you forgot something. God damn it, I hate to fly inside small holes. Just like this. Um, up here, I will have some cobblestone, why not? And for the roof, I will have prismarine slabs, why not? Some small engines, not nothing that big or like big surprising, but a small engine. Then there on engines there like this small round thing here. No clue in any way or shape or form what these are. It's like small round things like that. Um so I'm just gonna put a wall here to separate these rooms together so if you see there's yeah I'm just gonna flip this engine this uh, engine compartment actually so yeah I don't need to build again at the other side right here oh no oh no the internet don't fail me don't fail me it's failing me there we go it failed me almost I hate when that happens it's the worst thing First position there, second position there, look at the middle, forwards, or backward for me actually. Other side, flip, paste, like that. If you see we've got some, like, a bit, like a small room here. I was going to say a big room, but there's a small room. On the deck plants, I'm just gonna pull them up again. <laughs> what does it says? say? Um... You know what, here, here it will be the uh, ballast tanks, a pretty odd spot for a ballast tank to be honest because ballast tanks aren't really often in the front, they are more in the sides actually, a and in the middle, so yeah we can have ballast tanks here, uh, they're like small like this. I'm not gonna even bother to build the other side to the ballast tank, just like something like this. So there's the ballast tank, just like that. So if you see, now we got pretty much all of things done. I'm just gonna put set with 167.6, I guess. Nope. And do 7. Like this. Cool, cool, 
No, not cool. Okay, replace. Just like that. If you're wondering what it is, it's just to make like a wall and it just make it like black and that color. You see, a pretty cool wall. Um, in here I'm just gonna put like these, po like these support structures, and I'm just gonna also put iron trapdoors up here. Replace zero with one six seven nine. So if you see iron trapdoors has arrived, then I'm gonna put some sea lanterns up here for lights because it's quite goddamn dark here. So if you see how dark it actually is without. So I'm going to take androids now, then the uh, what's it called? Oh my god, I'm so s the sea lantern. So if you see some lights at the washing room too, the puny washing room, the really weird washing room, really really weird washing room, just like that. ECR two. And if you're wondering, we haven't pulled the other side or the other section of the ferry. This section, I will do that now. I just had to pull the engine for one section, then I could do the other. Pretty neat. Not gonna lie. Uh, remember to put trapdoors in every section or every room on the sh like the the ECR. It just looks better. Not as good, but it just looks better. So now is to the big boy engines. Yes, the big engine. No, the big fuel tanks. Never mind. Oh my god. So first thing I'm going to do is just fill with andesite again. Get the sign away. Put some lighting around. So do like this. Boom. Perfect. So now we actually can start on the fuel tank. So I'm just gonna check how many blocks there is. From I'm not sure. I'm just gonna think. Okay, never mind. Never mind, guys. So the fuel tanks will be here. Um, this could actually be the engine, the engines for the engines, because the fuel tanks need to be in the exactly the middle, or the center, or the keel, because. When the ship's rocking and the fuel tanks isn't in the middle, uh, the f it won't be really fun for you actually. Not fun in any ways. So I'm gonna make them with a smooth. This block, after that I forgot the name of. Smooth red blocks. The smooth red. The smooth redstone. Not red sandstone. Oh my god, these names are confusing me today. For here, so you see, and these, and it's just for like, and yeah, if it's, it's like cylinder, a cylinder form. And I'm sorry, I can't talk today. I'm pretty, I'm stuttering a lot. I'm so sorry. So if it's just pretty small engine, no, a uh, fuel tank. You can't really have a big fuel tank in the ship ships, actually, in any way. So yeah, that's the sad point. So now is to put the mm, engines here and I'm just gonna do some cheating and some tricks because I'm actually gonna flip the engine to here and it's so hard to do I don't suggest doing it if you're new to all of it so if you're not new uh, you can try but if you're new don't try it in any way shape or form I'm, if I crash the server I have no responsibilities I am warning you so first position at the lowest not the wall but the lowest I will take this here first position second position is like at the roof I'm looking through my out here then five not here I'm just gonna take this block here second position I'm just gonna throw my way in again through god damn it through through where am I? I'm in the here. Then I'm actually going to stand in the middle. Yes, look this way. Copy. Flip. Go to the other room. Be careful. Stand in the middle, exactly the middle. 
then paste and boom if the engine just appeared pretty cool I'm gonna fill this area that is empty because we really deal it really we 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 really don't like empty areas so just like that and I'm just gonna do GM SP to look if I did something wrong uh, um, I think I didn't do anything wrong I did right so I'm going to GMC. So if you see, we got four engines on the ship. Pretty small for a ship. But again, this is a sm really small ship. No, not a big ship in any shapes, way or form. So like that. And I'm just gonna put a pipe here because it looks pretty weird without the pipe. Um, and some pipes here to connect from the engines. I don't know if what this. If the pipes are for that role, I'm just gonna say they are because they look perfect for those roles. The f that too, so the fuel can actually go to the engines. I will also do it on this side. Boop, boop. So if you see now, the engine room is complete. You can set them up, like have signs from what, what the rooms are called, but I'm not gonna do that because it will take quite a lot of time. So we actually can fly out now. And have our iron door here because yeah and just like this and that would and it just shows it's a crew only area so first off we're actually going to do this top area for the crew lounge and if it's quite big for the crew lounge bigger than I actually expected it to be Oop, I will just fill it with this this block the roof block that I forgot about. I'm sweating. Jesus Christ, it's hot. Oh my god, it's hot there. So I will actually use a block that people without wallet or commands can't do. It's filled with 99. If you're wondering what it is, I'm gonna show you. It's this box. It looks perfect for what we're going to use it for. And it so yeah. So that's that. This is this and this. That is that. And it, it just looks perfectly mobile. I really like that block. Then we're actually going to build the like the crew cabins because the crew actually need to sleep when they're like on different shifts. So I'm just gonna put two cabins here with bunk beds. They're not that fancy actually. Uh, they're just sal really self explanatory Really easy and yeah, boring actually to be honest. So two cabins here so I will do bunk beds with light blue beds because they look really good in my opinion so like that and like that so I have another door set of door here for the small crew cabins uh, but first before we do anything we need to make uh, some staircase up to this deck. So I will use gray carp, gray, uh, not wool. God damn it, <laughs> gray wool for the bridge because we're just going to do the bridge real quick. Because before we do anything else, we need to pull the bridge. So gray wool for me. You can use blue wool or light blue. I li really like to use gray. Then as you go to terracotta, you can use blue terracotta, but I really like to use green terracotta. Then do something like this. Then stairs for the seats. And if they're double ended, so one looks this way and one other looks this way. Then with we go to redstone lever, redstone repeater. So uh, red, redstone repeater, redstone repeater, lever, lever. Then why not some spruce trapdoors for it here? Uh, what can we have there? Um, redstone comparator, why not? So, yeah, then we need to make a small staircase down, or a ladder actually, because if you see, we have so limited space here. I'm just gonna do it here. Perfect. So, ladder down from there. 
And you can have signs that says like restricted access or something like that. I don't really do that. I'm gonna just put some carpet to make it like like this. Then some bookshelves. I don't know why, but once video actually saw actually had bookshelves here, so some bookshelves. Why not? <laughs> so they like the captain can read and stuff. So now we have the staircase and we I'll also have a staircase right here nope yes 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 wait no never mind I will have some staircases uh, here actually so that someone actually can climb up to that deck and yeah so if somebody's actually going to wash the windows they will actually climb from here climb up here to get to this deck then so clean it from there uh, so now we can go in we actually will put doors here because I actually forgot to do that last video and oh my god this video is getting long they some doors here a door here fantastic so then I'm just gonna put like a small kitchen set up here. Not a big kitchen, just a small puny kitchen here. Um, something like that. And it's just for the crew to make like a small food when they're like on shifts because... Oh, when they actually have breaks to be honest. So when they actually have a break, they can sit here, make a food. I'll just put a small table with a TV. A small TV, god damn it. TV with a TV, I'll just do something like this. Then I have scaffolding here. Scaffolding to be on scaffolding. Scaffolding. And put it just like there. So if you see some seatings, uh we can put actually bookshelves that I would actually do. So bookshelves right here. So the crew can actually come here and read a small story, a poem, just like that. Um, up here, I will just have like a small counter. Why not? <laughs> I'm just going to brainstorm what what I can add. So I'm just gonna have like a small counter. Then I'm gonna just slab this everything with uh, smooth sand, smooth stone slabs. I can't do it there and here. Well, I actually can. Never mind. Just like this then just put slabs here like this fantastic nice so yeah put light here put light here we're coming to end on this first series the first season of this kind of a big se uh, series and there and light there so there we have the full interior <laughs> interior yes not the big interior but the small interior for this car ferry for the final touches I will actually just put more air vents because these those are only way I know to make some detail and if you see in here it's out of empty space uh, you can actually add uh, not the kitchen here, but I will actually add a small office here so people can actually like take their tickets or yeah, a small office. So yeah, I'm finally finished with the series, the first episode or this first season. So yeah, this was how to build a small car fair tutorial. If uh, how to build a big car fair tutorial will be something like this or something else than that. But I'm sorry if it was quite hard to understand because I well, it's pretty hard to actually uh, uh, like explain. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.